he slips as, as A.J. Brown's coming out of that. He slips just enough, and even with a throw. You got to know where your best receiver is. You see the matchup that you like. A nice route there by Terry McLaurin. Just going deep. Well, watch Amari Cooper. They're going to use this motion and then a swap release with him and a joke. Four-yard completion. It's down the field, and they throw the incompletion. Here's that beauty to Metcalf. The play results in a first down. Brents, who just had that big stop on Harris. Job again, giving him enough time. Look at him get to the top of the stem of that route, pull away from Dave. Best cornerback versus best receiver, 21 Denzel Ward versus number two DJ Moore. Good on good. Have the ability to do. Watch this second move. Here's one move. Oh, there's the second one and completely faked it. Helps break it up. Paulson and Debo is the reason the Saints are able to talk about how good they've been defensively. He's probably the envy. Is due St. Juice one on one on the outside against a very physical guy who's just trying to run a little pivot route. There's no separation. Seven for Shahid. I know they're glad to have him back. That speed pops off the film. To him, but if he's able to hit him in stride and he doesn't have to leave his feet that with that motion this is the play they run to get it to 30 and he said not on my watch he just stepped right in front of it one hands it and walk watch this it's a simple stick route goes up finds the leverage and you see how many guys are all over. well this same concept and they've got another red zone opportunity um, this is where you talked about not dumped by the Saints, the corners in particular. Isaac Yedem is filling in for Marshawn Lattimore. And then he comes out. There's the choice route I talked about. He can go either way, sets the defender up, comes back inside. Senior comes into play late in the process. A little stutter and go move. And the ball's there. And as you pointed out. Well, listen, uh, uh, Levis has been aggressive. And this is the second time on the same route to Traylon Burks. Well, watch him turn and stop, and he's working against number 23, Newsom. Ripping across by DJ Moore, and that's all timing. You want to complete that. So it's close to see if that ball is already on the white as he's reaching it over. It is confirmed a touchdown, <laughs> so he came back from out of the end zone. To well, you give him time, and that's what Jared Goff can do. That lasted one year. And it's been a tough season for him right now. Yeah, it sure has. He, he's been frustrated at times for, for obvious reason. Come on. Look at the awareness of the feet. That is spectacular. That is great catch. And what a luxury to have Darren Waller back. He's going against Isaac Kidham. This is a cornerback that he's going against. And you see how quick he is with his routes. It really catches. Wonderful job by Apple staying in phase right with him. And then as he goes across, times it earlier. This, You know what? In my day, they used to call it Moss, but now the kids, the kids say he got. Stingley knows that he's got inside help, but look at how far away Stingley is and the way he closed. Well, here's the one-on-one -on -one coverage. He feels the space, and then Johnson with a T-step and fire and react. He done it on this same route, the deep bench or corner route. Nice job turning over. It's his feet set. The ball, you're going to give your receiver a chance. Michael Davis, he's been picked. But Ramsey. Times it up. You were right. He did get his hand right in there. And Ramsey playing some outside. In college at the University of Cincinnati, he gets across. He's able to pull away. That's Derwin James. He's leaving him. But all of it. The extra time. You see the Colts dropping everybody back. Nice little move again. Finds the open space. But he just ripped the Vikings heart out. Tyler Boyd working inside. He's open, but he doesn't see him. Keeps working his way all the way across the field. Makes the play. Makes. Well, they just go with the deep hook route right here. And what Wicks does such a good job of is pressing vertical, putting the head down, pressing vertical. They pick up 16. And look at uh, Al Shire is playing inside and right. He gets on the corners so quickly. And you see how Deontay Banks, he's respecting the speed. So you respect the And there's the matchup on the outside. Great job by Legereus Sneed getting up and impacting him. He just doesn't. And, I, and it had to be that type of a pass because the coverage by Antonio Hamilton was really good and tight. And they pick up 39. Well, you got to love this. And really, this should be Jimmy Ward. He's supposed to stay underneath with the cornerback. Open. But this dude is just unfaced. I mean, he is steady as they come, given this off. He's very Bailey Zappi friendly. Yes. So.
Just a great job right there at the top of the route. You see how he gets on top of Justin. But remember, he had almost 1,400 yards in 2020 with Atlanta, but look at that. And played it perfectly. Here he comes. Love with the first takeaway. That's the difference of those two go routes and Tyreek Stevenson putting on a clinic for cornerbacks. And off coverage with Reek Woolen. And, you know, I know there's a lot of conversation about him. By Julian Love, his Ruling second of the, the night. Ruling on the field was an interception by the defense. That play is now under review. John, you see it as a pick. Watch right here. Benjamin St. Juice. And there, look at this, James. Right, right here. Like, what are we looking at? Two guys just letting them run completely free. You got Curl and St. Juice, and nobody picks up Cooper Cup. And this is just a big time throw. You see Tolbert, he takes the top off. We used to call this 77. And then the basically the inside guy, Kohler, here is going to create that space, and Winger just can do it. They're going to have a wheel route on here, and you're going to have Brandon Stevens reacting to the inside. He's been on Calvin. Rightfully so, but it's really been the play of Stefan Gilmore these last couple weeks. Expecting Cooper to cut right off his outside foot, and Coop kind of gives him an indicator a little early. He does this as well as any back in the backfield. He's going to run a traditional corner out, which you see a lot of slot receivers. Bill's defense has done so well today by keeping those two split safeties. They've done such a good job eliminating the big play. Well, Sidney Brown's trying to disguise coverage. He drops down. Locke recognizes that he's got one-on-one, -on -one, and it's just there's nothing really palming a ball in a driving rainstorm. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, and you're seeing the two guys who've carried this first down play action pass. This is something they have to continue to major in, throwing early, and then they're Jaguars and Joe Cool. As cool as the other side of the pillow just floats away from it. Corner out, the quick fake. And I love the tempo by Najoku. And he cut off his way perfectly. I don't know about the jump for me. Elevator, second level, get up top, get those things in like an alley oop. Was that they run the back this way and Cooper on the little spot route? Well, somebody was going to have to come up and make a play. The defense keeping him in this ball game. A good one doesn't even break stride. <laughs> but look at that. He never really got him out. Right over the ball to Tillman. And you're going to see the backers make this play all the way. Watch him. It's Edwards with the hit. Edmonds with the pick. And then he's gone down the sidelines. Flacco almost had him. Ford runs after him on the right. Here he comes. Watch. Just yeeted him. Get out of here. One more time to the play by Flacco and the catch by Cooper. Look at him. Eyes up. He wants to throw it early. Waits to see it and waits to make sure Amari Cooper's looking back at him so he knows the football's coming his way and Amari Cooper does an excellent job. So then they stop playing up front. Levis has all the time in the world. He understands. In Glendale, San Francisco's got the lead. They're threatening to put more points on the board when we come back down Tennessee give the offensive line credit and then also credit the strong hands of Moore who takes a shot catch already uh, wow zone coverage good time in the pocket and it came out perfect timing to Higby excellent job little toe drag swag there James Lofton that, that's impressive and when you have a quarterback like Kyler Murray the secondary always talks about when he's on the move, you've got to hunt up receivers and plaster yourself to them. That's exactly what the San Francisco secondary did on this play. Kyler feeling it, not getting flustered, not letting the pressure get to him, and letting Kittle get to the open space, and the ball's right between the eight and the five. The team, the scheme is so good that you know you're not supposed to lose sight of Debo Samuel. He's in your scouting report as one of the most dangerous. To work inside. And he's in the trail position. Willie Gay is behind him the whole time. And Mike Edwards can't get there. Some of these adjustments, I just, I don't know how you defend them. Because prior to that great catch right there. Watch him step up in the pocket when we're going to see the route first. Good job by Terry McLaurin just finding, putting his hand up, letting his quarter. Route is there. The ball's a little bit late. And Charvarius Ward is not threatened. 
by anyone on the outside. So he sees the play the entire way from back to front. Able to see Murray's drop where he's by Dalton Schultz. This is just improvising. You saw uh, Noah Brown do a lot of this. The zone is to go to his receiver. And his knowledge allows him to be such a great quarterback. Final throw by Case Keenum. Look at the window that he has to get this in. You see Brown and then the underneath coverage. And so I think the big thing here's Watson right here. There's Kelsey on the inside. Everybody looks at Kelsey, right? That allows you to get Justin Watson, you know, one on. He dictates that he goes, and that certainly wasn't open. And when you have a guy like Terry. They are going to rule completion here. Third down. A really good use of the play action to get the linebackers to move to the left side. Really kind of a challenging play for Levitt. Number 21, man to man. And McCurry really has, he's really had a nice season. You know, defensive. Jalen Mills jarred that thing out of there. But Rice is able to scamper back on top of it. Their secondary played disciplined football. They had great awareness of where the key players were. Motion away, open up this middle of the field right here. And it's a, the accuracy of the throw. Devondre Campbell is driving on that. And Baker Mayfield just able to put it in front. Great awareness with the ball in his hand. David Moore takes this to the house. He's got that explosive speed. In the organization because of it. But Chris Godwin's been clearly one of the targets today. And, I, and it's a matchup. Expecting that they were going to go in zone. And as soon as they went in zone, they're not used to it, right? It's a different kind of route. Through. Week, he finally gets 12 yards. Boy, that's a tight window, too. And look at the timing of this throw. Out of his hand right now. He hits that back step. It's just a switch release from these two right here. Payne's going to be underneath. Hot and up top. It's a good high low. Really good throw left. And Mike, Mike Evans just on the back side. And Valentine does a great job of not using his hands too early. Great job by Tua using his eyes. And he had to do this very quickly. Dots both feet. This is big time, man. The decision to throw this ball, number one. The accuracy wow. with which he throws it and the power. And then Jaden Reed. And then try to get into this window. Clear and replace, they call that. So Drake Lennon clears it out, and then you just replace him with Pitts. It's man-to-man -man coverage. You're not necessarily working there, but you know he got Mike Bivens and one-on-one in man coverage coming across. I want you to watch right up here and take a look at this route. Inside, oh, and he gets him, and that allows Tua to say that he doesn't have a big arm. What you have is P. Carmichael playing chess right now with Wink Martindale. A little slot fade, and this is a great read. Coming off the ball, you see the corner stay high. So what does Bryce Young do? Mosley chased him down at the 47-yard line. And this is where Coach McDaniel really separates, and that's where Waddle really separates. But the motion had to call his final timeout. Well, this is something Baker Mayfield all year, right? When things have not gone his way, he's been able to step back. He's got to get some pace behind it. Here's Chris Godwin just settling in into his zone. Quay Walker just, just misses that one. Yeah, and what you're doing right here is you're putting one guy into conflict. So it's Caden Ellis underneath. You're running that out route. Penalties. You'll see the illegal contact right there. you got to let him go, riding him too long. And the crossing route the first time, this time out of a trips formation or a twins formation. They're running some cover too, so you're going to see Byron Murphy. His, his job is to get hands on the receiver. Harrison Smith is over top of him, and he's able to make the tackle. Jordan Addison right there in the slot is going to run a double move right there. And the Bengals. Catch for the touchdown, but comes back with the big end. Getting him across mid midfield, setting him up in field goal range. And the Colts use one of those three timeouts. Well, he's been everything and more for the Detroit Lions. Makes it look so easy. You're seeing him down here at the bottom of your screen. The way he weaves within his routes, DJ Turner trying to stay on top of him right now. Why this team <laughs> is so good at big plays down the field. They have 54 passes of 20 yards or more. See right here, it looked as if George Pickens was going to run to the post. Pushes the safety off. Well, Cortland Sutton, we showed at the beginning of the game the catch he made last week against one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And any time you get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with Devontae Adams against anybody, especially against Davis. Him maxed out right there on Hill, and he's able to take the bump by Pratt over the middle. That's where he's done all of his work today. And With a slithery move to get free after the catch. Well, Moreau's over there in position to make the tackle, and he just gets juked out.
And he's able to keep his feet in bounds. I wasn't too sure if William. Well, just a quick throw here. Trying to get it to the outside. No different than just running a sweep. But when you get the ball right away, you get out there. Great read by the secondary. Terrific play. Well, after Detroit's loss last week to Chicago, there was an irritated Dan Campbell in the postgame press conference. And it gets behind it. You're going to see him on the outside. They're playing cover two. There's a safety out of the screen. Pratt trying to leverage. Man, this guy just keeps getting better in his third year out of Florida State. You know, see the patience there by Devontae Adams on that route. The 31 of Detroit. Well, Aaron Glenn said they wanted to be more aggressive on the defensive side of the ball. This time they got too aggressive with the play fake. The nickel off the slot was up. The safety off the, the deep half came up on the ball. They were able to get pressure on golf right away. He just throws a jump ball to Reynolds. Has it right in his hands. But what's that right hand? The fist comes in and just punches it. And for this Vikings defense, you got to look at it as well and say, hey, I'm not going to allow T. Higgins to be the one to win this game. He wanted, but here he comes up big time. To get to George, just for some reason, the ball hasn't come his way. Doesn't want to force it, but. All right, Gene, thank you very much. And for the Denver Broncos, their first opening drive of the second half, touchdown. Fingertips on that ball, as we're going to see DJ Turner going underneath. And look at that catch. Scrapes it right off the carpet, picks it up, and is rolling for the touchdown. The offensive line is doing a terrific job of giving Mullins time. Jefferson's able to get the ball, goes up, and makes it catch. Let's go back to the interception. Yeah, and they're trying to run a corner post. He got a little saying, as George just says, put it up in the sky. And Nick Cross says, not this time. Nick Cross with the Moss. Right here, and you see five motioning out. I think that creates a little bit of confusion by motioning him to the outside. You see Robertson, you see him look into the inside, wondering where that's safe. And a Caleb Evans as well. A beat of Tucker to get one-on-one -on -one against Davis, and they thought they'd go into it early, and he wins at the line of scrimmage. If the ball's thrown down in front of him, he's got to... Right there, and you see him right there in the slot, lined up on Mike Hilton. But his safety has his back, Hill, he's just reading him. Showing the sideline work right here, jumping up. It's pushed right there. All right, we got left foot, right wow. foot, and that is a catch. Ball thrown behind him, throws that left hand up there and tries to secure it right there. Gets the catch right there, but is not able to get that second foot down, I think. But let's take another look at it from this angle, which will clearly tell us. Bobbles it right there. Catch one, two. Ah. Remember, there's no challenge. Well, what's Asante Samuel doing? And he sinks, so he said, all right. I'll just take the first down, then I'll settle right there. Good throw by Myers. Critical third down, and he comes right back to him on a on a great matchup against a veteran, Eric Kendricks. Pressure here, and you're not going to win this right here. Nobody's going to stop him at the line of scrimmage. A little shake, and look at the room because the linebacker blitz. 